employee training is vitally important to the success of every organisation. Effective training increases the effectiveness of employees, boosts job satisfaction and contributes to improved employee engagement. In Sage HR, you can add training for employees to complete and allow employees to add or request their own training. To set up and configure training, you must be logged on as an administrator or training administrator. On the settings menu, click employee data, then training. If you wish to allow employees to add or edit training, select allow employees to add and edit trainings. Employees you assign as training administrators here can access training and training events under employee data in the settings menu. They will then be able to manage all aspects related to training. In this case, Benjamin Okoro will be our training administrator. Select his name from the drop down and click save. Training type helps to categorize the different types of training such as an online course or on-site training. To add a new training type, click Add Training Type. Give the training type a suitable name. In this case, we'll call it Lunch and Learn. These training sessions are not chargeable, so you need to select No Payment. If required, you can select to email attendees a certain number of days before the due date to remind them about the training. When finished, click Add. You've added a new training type. If further edits are required, these training types can be edited or deleted by clicking on these icons. Payment types are different ways training can be paid for. For example, by online payment such as a credit card. If necessary, a new payment type can be added. Click Add Payment Type. Give the payment type a suitable name. In this case, Cash. Indicate whether the payment type requires approval or not by selecting the appropriate radio icon. If required, select whether you want to send an email to a specific person when training is approved. Enter the relevant email address in the field provided. You might, for example, want to send an email to the training administrator when the training request has been approved. If you want a task to be created for an employee when training is approved, then enter what the task is and enter a deadline. Here, for example, you could set up a task for the attendee to complete some pre-course work. You can also place a check in the checkbox to make costs a mandatory field. This will ensure a cost is entered when someone adds training. When finished, click Add. You've added a new payment type. You can create training events in Sage HR. Employees can then choose to attend these in order to support their ongoing development. You must be logged on as an admin or training administrator to create these training events. From the settings menu, click Employee Data, then click Training Events. The first thing you will notice is a checkbox. Checking this allows employees to be placed onto a wait list for any training event that may become full. If you're not going to run a wait list, you can leave this unchecked. Click Save. In this section, you can create training categories. Note that this is distinct from training type. To add a new category, click Add Category. Give the new category a relevant name. Optionally, you can decide to notify participants by email a specific number of days prior to this category of training. Click Save. You've added a new category. In the next section, you have a list of training events which may have already been created. As an administrator, you can create new training events for employees to attend. Click Add Event. Give the event a relevant name. A description of the event can be added. Add an image which will act as an icon for the event. Select the appropriate training event category. Add the relevant date and time of the event. 
If the event is to be held on or over multiple dates, further dates and times can be added. Provide the location or venue details. Enter the number of spaces available on this training in the Capacity field. If attendance on this event requires manager approval, place a check in this checkbox. Click Add. The training can be made available for all employees or selected employees. If you choose to select specific employees, you can select the employees from the list or by clicking the cogwheel, filter results by team, position or location to help narrow down your search. In this case, we select everyone and click Save. You've created a new training event. Once created, training events show here under Training Events. You can filter them by category or to show upcoming events past events, or all events. If you click on the three dots on a training event, this is where you can amend eligibility, edit the event, export the event to an Excel spreadsheet, view a change log that lists any changes that have been made, and delete the event if necessary.